Outstanding Rural Healthcare Provider, Wayne Anderson. Wayne Anderson wears many hats in his mission to serve the Williston area. As Chief Medical Officer and General Surgeon at CHI St. Alexis Health Williston, he provides a central role in providing life-saving care to patients. Working with CHI St. Alexius since 1994, he has made rural medicine his life calling. However, he does not stop there. Wayne is a clinic professor of surgery and medical education at the University of North Dakota and a preceptor at the University of Mary, Rocky Mountain College, and various other institutions. He is also an advanced trauma life support instructor at the American College of Surgeons. I started working for Dr. Anderson as a clinic nurse and I can truly 100% say that I am the nurse I am today because of Dr. Anderson. There was an incident um, with my first surgical rotation in the clinic with him where a individual was having their toenail removed and on the consent form I wrote big toe toenail removal and he took me aside afterwards and was just so kind and gentle and just educated me on the proper terminology to use in a surgical consent form. And since that moment, he is just the most easiest um, temperament, kind, gentle man to go to as a professional in any matter. Wayne's dedication to educating and mentoring the next generation of medical professionals helps to ensure the continuation of quality care. Dr. Anderson is exactly what rural health is about, and we're so very, very proud that he represents Mercy Medical Center, the community of Williston, and, and we're very happy that, that he serves right here in, in this community. Wayne can often be found at the Williston Fire Department, where he has served as medical director over the past decade. He is responsible for granting medical licenses to 81 firefighter, EMT, slash paramedics, at the fire department, as well as overseeing protocol for over 3,400 annual medical emergencies. In addition to his other commitments, Wayne works with the Williston Basin School District Number 7 as a medical advisor. It's amazing to see uh, from a facility standpoint and in administration the impact that he's made uh, with his colleagues and with our staff here within our CHI walls. What's even more interesting is when we reached out uh, to uh, recognize him for this award and we reached out to his other colleagues in the communities and that's where we saw Dr. Anderson's huge impact not only within CHI but across our community and across our region. He provided guidance and support for developing the school nurse program and at the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic he implemented protocol and procedures for staff and students. Partnering with school nurses, Wayne shares his medical expertise to ensure the students and the community stay healthy. I think that this is a very long overdue award for Dr. Anderson. Um, he has served this community for 30 plus years. He has worked in this facility for quite some time and stuff. And I just believe that he is very deserving of this award for what he does for his community, for his healthcare staff, for his students, um, and then anybody that comes in contact with him and most of all his patients. Throughout his many channels to provide care, education, support, and leadership, Wayne makes sure that his standard of care never falters. He leads by example in all levels of the community, striving to better its well-being any way he can. We just appreciate what he does for us. You know, at the end of the day, he's got the mess of the back of his mind. And he kind of, you know, he goes above and beyond to make sure that we have a good working relationship with him and that we also have a good working relationship with us. Very surprised and honored to receive this award. I guess I don't think of general surgeons as being rural health care providers, even though I live in a rural area. I think this is more for our family physicians, nurse practitioners, PAs that really are in uh, the most rural areas and provide extremely valuable services to their communities. Um, been here, like I said, for 28 years, involved in a lot of different things in the community just because they're things that I enjoy doing. Um, takes a whole team approach to allow me to do the things that I do all of the staff at the hospital, lab x-ray, all of the nurses, the OR teams, I can't do this without all of their support. Obviously very thankful for all of that. Um, very much appreciative of what my parents taught me. 
Mom was an elementary teacher, always encouraged us to do the best we can. Dad was a postmaster with a high school education, and I, know, I don't ever remember him having less than three or four jobs at a time. Um, married a wonderful lady, Jennifer, who passed away three years ago. My strongest supporter and also my harshest critic at times. The kids have all played a role in this. They allowed me to work at night and show up for their concert just as they were on stage and leave afterwards and go back to the hospital and do the things I could. Um, participated as much as I could in their lives, but again, I know they made some sacrifices so that I could do what I love to do, which is to be a surgeon. Um, trained in North Dakota, one of the first two graduates, stayed on the faculty for about six years, then went into private practice. I still enjoy teaching. I have had medical students, residents, now pretty much physician assistant students and nurse practitioner students, and it's still a joy to, to teach and try to share my knowledge with them and also learn from them.